Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am going to replace a Mossberg 590 uh, right hand extractor. And this is the extractor right here that I got from Midway. Um, they have a lot of the more modern shotgun rifle pistol parts. You can usually find what you need there. So we are going to replace this extractor um, due to the fact that uh, when I was doing some modifications with my 590 12 gauge, um, yeah, I dropped the bolt and guess where it landed? It landed on the extractor, on the right hand extractor. It has two. So um, we're going to look at getting that replaced today. It's a very simple thing to do. I think just about anybody with any skills at all. If you can hang a picture on a wall, you should be able to replace this extractor. So um, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna start with, after the barrel has been taken off, basic field stripping. I'm not gonna bore you with getting the barrel off, but we'll get the trigger guard off and we'll take the bolt out and you'll see it from there. Okay, that's next. Okay, the barrel is off. So we're now looking at um, getting the trigger guard out. We'll see that the gun is empty. We make sure that the hammer is cocked back so it's not in the way of any of the components. We pull things out. So next, the gun is clear, of course. Nothing in there. And pop out the uh, pin for the trigger guard. And you can use anything that'll fit in there. You don't need to use a lot of force. I have some old firing pins from shotguns, which make excellent, excellent little punches. So, of course, you can make one. This was made from an Allen wrench and a piece of aluminum. You can see it's been used quite a lot. All right, so now we have our trigger that can come out. There is our trigger. We'll put it aside. And we got the inner workings of the gun in here now. So now we can find our little spot to get out. Oh, cartridge guide. Okay. Normally that comes out after. Well, it doesn't, does it? There we go. It's been a while since I had this part. Okay. Bolt carrier. Now we can take our slide get it out of the way okay now we can remove our bolt out through the front of the gun okay. and there it is that's what we want to operate on so we'll put this aside for now and what we're looking at here is the bolt the right hand extractor um, you can see this one got dropped and bent and for the meantime I semi bent it back and it's not working great so we need to take it out. The way to take it out is we're going to take the there's a pin okay let me get something to point with there is a pin right here we want to do the right extractor so we're looking at this this way right and left so we got our right extractor here. We're gonna take and back this thing out and we're gonna take this punch right here and we're gonna push it down and out of the way. It's nice to have a little block. This is a piece of Mercata that I picked up from somewhere. Don't know where, but you see here you have a clearance here, some place for that pin to drop and you should be able to and we can be a little stubborn in fact the pin didn't come all the way out but we got our extractor there is our spring and we'll put the spring back in because we're not replacing it there's the bent extractor Replacement. There's our replacement. And I'm going to go ahead and 
bend the old one to the position of the replacement and save it as a used extractor for an emergency. Still works, has a little bit of a hang up. If I bend a little bit, should work fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this new extractor in. So we'll just set that back in there. And it's nice to be able to find that pinhole. And this extractor is probably gonna have to be fit a little bit. Yeah, it's a little tight. So what we're gonna do is we are going to stone down a little bit here. Never alter your bolt. Always alter the piece that you're, you're putting into the bolt. So yeah, that's a little bit snug. So I'm gonna give that a stoning and I'll come right back to you. And we're just gonna use a regular old um, stone for, uh, uh, gosh, regular India stone, show that to you here. We're just gonna use a regular India stone here and we're gonna get a little material off just by running it back and forth. Okay, so we're just gonna take this extractor and we're gonna take a little bit off of each side. It shouldn't take much. I'm not even gonna wet the stone for this, for this purpose because it should be very little that needs to come off. We're basically gonna take off the, uh, the bluing. And just for grins, going to pop a little off the other side. We'll see what that does. Still just a little bit snug. still. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, on to the next. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this pin the rest of the way out because it's just a lot easier to install the extractor because you'll be able to indicate the hole. Let's see where, it, where it's supposed to go or at least feel where it's supposed to go. There we go. Oh, we'll have enough room there. I don't have to knock it all the way out. What we'll do is we'll put the spring in there. It has a small little seat where it's going to sit right in there. You'll see it. Okay, and its own hole to go into. Now we're going to set that back in there. I want to line that hole up, so the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and stick a pin in there 
And look at that. We've got our extractor in there lined up and ready to go. So what we can do next then is go ahead and get that pin back where it goes. And you can use, in order to get a little more height here, um, you can use another block. You can use a block of just about anything. Okay, I found a piece of half inch pine, got my marcata block and half a hockey puck and anyone that went to gunsmithing school in the old days, like say in the 60s, 70s, even in the 80s, a hockey puck was like a standard. Can, so useful. You can drill holes in it. I cut this one in half. Um, it's more useful to me that way because I have my holes drilled in my marcata to let pins drop through. I just happen to like this, just like this. And we'll get stable here and we can get that firing pin back in. Hurry, I mean, get the uh, tractor pin back in. We want to be flush. There's our guide that, that left us. And we are pretty darn flush right there. Rub your finger over it. Don't feel anything. I'm going to go ahead and knock this in just a little bit. Just so there is no chance of rubbing. And we have a little inset into that. There we go. And we don't want to come out the top, which we have not. We are ready to go get this thing back in the gun. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so we have our 590. We will go ahead and slide the carrier back in. Need to find the little rails it was following. And I believe we found it. There we go. We found it. Four end of that going. You're going to find little holes for that. Okay, then. And then we're going to find its home. There we go. Okay. So now we got to find where our Carrier is going to go in. It will have the last notch right there, the last notch on the uh, slide arm is going to match up with the first notch on your bolt carrier. And you can see that's just gonna drop in, engage, and there we go. All right, now we can get our slide stop in, left and right slide stop have to go in, and we will be complete. All right, and then our trigger. So, yeah, we can do that, can't we? is our right. This is your right. Okay. And then this is your left. Your left will have the little button on it that has to go through the receiver. And you're going to see that right there. That matches up to there. This is the trickiest part, really, to hold these both in place while you're getting your trigger assembly back in place. Because invariably you end up catching on something. You got some little lips here. You have to clear up. Oh, there it goes, went in the first time. Can't complain. Now we have our little hole there. Make sure we're lined up to retain our trigger assembly. And that goes back in. 
And look at that, didn't even need to tap it back in. So we're all set. Let's see if we got functioning here. Yes, we do. Everything seems to be working fine. We'll pull that back in about, about the halfway mark. Get our barrel back on. If you're watching this video, you probably already know how to do this. There we go. Slide spring goes back in. Or I mean the uh, magazine spring goes back in. And we have our cap. Yeah, snug down. Uh, we see our barrel is all the way in set. And we now have what looks like a working firearm. Cool. I'm going to go out and test it. See how it works. Alrighty, so we're going to see if we're success and if this thing will operate. I've got five rounds. Yes, they are live rounds. I am in my shop and there is nobody here. It is just me. Um, worst case scenario, maybe I pop out a window, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But if it is, it'll be an interesting video, won't it? So let's see if we got ejection. Perfect, she works. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, hit the like button. Share it if you know somebody that has problems with extraction or feeding with their uh, Mossberg. Because uh, those extractors, they do every once in a while tend to wear out, give you a little problem. Getting a new extractor, easy to fix. You can see it's really simple. Just about anybody should be able to do it with the right tools. Hey, you can do just about anything, right? So thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Hey, life is good here in Idaho, and I'll say it again, live free or die, folks. Thanks for watching.